Hello, I'm Steve from Piranha Audio Visual, and today I'm going to be telling you about a camera system we've installed to allow a church to stream services live to Facebook. I'm here in Kidsgrove, Staffordshire, and we were approached by the vicar a, a few weeks ago and asked if we could provide a solution where they could stream services during the COVID pandemic and beyond live to their Facebook page. To do that, we've installed a couple of moving cameras that they have control of from their control booth at the back, a vision mixer and a way of monitoring the cameras and monitoring the feed out to Facebook. One of the provisions we needed to, to make was to ensure the cameras were as hidden as they could be. And you may well have not detected it, but above my head is a camera that was painted to blend in as best we could with the uh, fabric of the building and to blend into this beautiful wooden structure that we have here in the church um, at the front of the balcony. I'll now take you back to the control booth and we'll show you what we've installed and how it integrates with the audio system they already had in the church. So to operate the vision mixer and to decide what camera is going out on our live stream, it's as simple as pressing the buttons here. The red button is showing us which camera is live at the moment, which is camera one as shown here, and you can see duplicated on our live stream. If I press camera two, you'll see our live stream change and we're now on camera two. It's as simple as that. We select the camera we want. If I want to project the words from the computer, these come in here in the third position, third button, and we go live with the computer. In terms of operating the cameras, we generally use camera one as a fixed camera and camera two in this setup is our moving camera. I'll go live with camera two, just so you can see a slightly bigger picture here. But when we're using the uh, camera controls, we use this keypad here and we've preset the camera views that they've asked for. So at the moment, we've got a nice wide shot of the whole church. To change that shot to a more close-up shot of the front, I'm going to press three, which is the number of the shot we have programmed and shot. And you will instantly see the camera zoom in to where we want it to be. I'll do that again for you. We want a more close-up of the lecture. Maybe we've just got the vicar at the front speaking. So I do that um, as a new shot programmed in on number two. And just for example, on this situation, they have a full band in the church. If we wanted a shot of the band, we can change that by pressing a button again and very quickly, the camera moves to the new position. Now, as part of our workflow, if we're actually streaming, what we'd probably do is actually start off with one shot. We'd cut to the other camera, adjust the shot on the first camera, and then cut back. And that would give the viewers at home a really seamless, beautiful shot where they move from one camera to the other without seeing the movement of the camera itself. 